everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a back handspring. I did make a video on this a few years back, but after going and watching that video again, I realized that I didn't give that many details on how to actually do the back handspring. So that's why I wanted to make this new video that's hopefully more helpful for you guys and gives you more tips on how to do the skill. So let's just go ahead and get started. Before doing a back handspring, you should always start by stretching out your shoulders, wrists, and ankles. A few skills that I recommend learning first since will help a lot with learning your back handspring are a bridge, a handstand block which is essentially a handstand that you pop off your shoulders like you would in a handspring, a back walkover, and a back limber since it's basically the same as a back handspring except you don't jump into it. To approach your back handspring, sit back, trying not to let your knees go past your toes and slightly swing your arms backwards. From that position, you're going to jump back into the back handspring while bringing your arms up beside your ears. During this approach, it's really important to make sure that you're keeping your chest up. Once you feel like you're ready to attempt the back handspring, it's best to try it with a spot. Your spotter should place one hand on your back and the other hand on your legs to help push them over. Then once you feel ready, the spotter can stop pushing your legs over and just place one hand on your back. If you don't have someone to spot you, or even if you're just doing it for the first time without a spot, then I recommend doing it on either a bouncy or a soft surface. As you can see, I'm doing mine on a tumble track, which is from Kenda Sports. For those of you who would like to purchase your own, you can use my code Anna for 20% off. If you don't have a tumble track though, I still recommend doing it on some kind of soft surface like a mattress or even a gymnastics mat because that way it won't hurt as bad if you land on your knees. You can also prevent landing on your knees by keeping both your arms and legs straight because as you can see here, both my arms and legs are bent which resulted in not landing the skill. And then finally, you can try your back handspring on the ground. Once you're totally confident with throwing the back handspring, practice keeping your toes pointed, legs straight, and arms by your ears. And that's it for this tutorial, so I hope it helps you get your back handspring. Remember that this skill takes lots of practice, so if you didn't get it in your first try, that's completely fine. Just take your time and make sure to go through each step fully. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can click here to watch my most recent video. To subscribe to my channel, click here and don't forget to press on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload any new videos. Bye guys!